For the uninitiated, let me explain the abridged story of Halo. It was the 26th century. Humanity had spread throughout the galaxy, colonizing hundreds of planets. They eventually encountered the Covenant, which was a conglomerate of different alien species united under one religion. The Covenant leaders told the masses that humanity was an affront to their gods and needed to be exterminated. The technologically superior Covenant had horrifyingly powerful warships that the UNSC, humanity's military force, could barely hope to stand against. Over 30 years of war, humanity's presence in the galaxy had slowly been eroded, planet by planet. Through the years and with strict discipline, they managed to keep Earth a secret. Eventually, however, the Covenant discovered the location of Earth. They secretly began gathering a massive fleet, preparing to attack and destroy humanity's last bastion. That fleet was commanded by the unyielding Hierophant. The Halo novel The First Strike, written by Eric Nyland, mentioned that there were over 500 Covenant warships gathered, not to mention fighter craft, dropships, support vessels, etc. Guess how many warships I rendered? That's right, 516. Plus 83 smaller ships. Unnecessary? Absolutely. Dedication to the craft? Yeah, man. Did my computer catch fire? That's neither here nor there. I will say that I took out a fire insurance policy before starting this thing, and my premium even skyrocketed, so little bit that information what you will. I'm joking, I bought this computer specifically to learn 3D animation, so. All good. Speaking of fire, the Spartans' mission to destroy the fleet was successful. However, if this particular fleet had made it to Earth, I don't think anything could have been done to stop it. Even if they had the post-war flagship, the Infinity, her sister ship, the Eternity, the UNSC home fleet, and all 300 orbital defense platforms pointed at the Covenant fleet, they would be slaughtered in a tidal wave of plasma. One Covenant assault carrier, the big ones that the dropship came out of, carries 192 Space Banshee fighters and 64 Seraph fighters. Now I put 66 assault carriers in this fleet. If those numbers are accurate, that would mean over 12,000 Space Banshees and 4,200 Seraphs. And that's just counting the assault carriers. Smaller carriers, not included in this animation, carried 300 Seraph fighters each. And in Halo 2, the UNSC home fleet, which consisted of 85 capital ships, somehow let 15 Covenant ships show them what's up and let an assault carrier through and to the surface of Earth. I figure humanity would need at least a thousand warships, plus the Infinity, and the Eternity, and the 300 ODPs, and the benefit of knowing how the Covenant would attack to stand a chance. Spartan and ODST battalions wouldn't make a dent unless the fight came to the surface. Speaking of ODSTs, that ODST at the beginning is to scale, as is almost every other ship from the Banshees, which are about 10.9 meters long, to the unyielding Hierophant, coming in at 30 kilometers. I also figured out the Phantom's top speed, which is about 1100 kilometers or 683 miles per hour, and scaled that speed into the animation. In that stretch between the assault carrier and the bottom of the unyielding, it's moving at 683 miles per hour. It looks like it's crawling. For another frame of reference, go back to the 2 minute and 30 second mark. Those streaks going by the dropship? Those are banshees. I did not animate them moving. They're sitting still. The dropship is the only thing moving. That ought to give you an idea of how massive this space really is. Fact is, at maximum speed, it'll take the dropship 98 seconds to go from the top to the bottom of the unyielding Hierophant. 30 kilometers. Now to the unyielding Hierophant. I already hear you in the comments. But DJC Animations, the unyielding is oriented sideways. The official art has the ship going left to right, not up or down. <laughs> yeah, shut up. I saw the art on DeviantArt. I know Bungie or 343 or whoever said that that's official. I get it. 
Shoot, when I was sketching out my ideals for the unyielding Hierophant 10 years ago, I drew it sideways as well. Here's the thing. There's no real up or down in space, it's just vectors, masses, and velocities. Now if you know where that's from, you get an internet point. You can turn your body upside down in space and your brain wouldn't know the difference. Second, the Covenant has advanced gravity technology. They don't care about up or down. Third, the ship is described in the book as an elongated figure eight, not an elongated infinity symbol. Fourth, Cortana mentioned the top lobe in the text, implying a bottom lobe, implying an up and down orientation relative to their approach. And fifth, I just think it looks cooler. Creative liberties. So, this is my first 3D animation project. I'd been playing around in Blender on and off for about five years, but after buying a 3D printer, I started modeling my own stuff to print, and it led to Halo. Now I always wanted a 3D plasma rifle, ever since I watched my brother play Combat Evolved in 2004. And last year, after buying the printer and finding a file on Thingiverse, I finally have one. An official face reveal! Yeah, I'm black, shut up. Anyway. I bought my current PC to handle 3D animation, rendering, and video editing, and it works marvelously. So, watch out for more 3D stuff as I learn the program. Thanks for watching.